Hi guys and um, welcome back to the channel, it's Alex here and today I'm giving you a wee, a wee different video from what you're used to. This is actually going to be a tutorial. Now, I was doing my live stream and a couple of people were asking how I made my layouts and I thought, instead of trying to explain it to you, I'm just going to make a video and show you guys. So, how I make my layouts is through Photoshop. Now, this is the layout I'm going to show you how to make roughly. And then I'm going to show you how to make my draft league one as well, which is this one. So, in Photoshop, if you guys have it, all you want to do is go to File, and then New. And make sure you have all these settings. Now, these settings here are for Full HD and it's, oh, it's 1080p, basically. Okay, so just make sure you have a look at this, these settings, and then just make sure they all add up. And then you just want to hit OK. And then this opens up a sort of a very very blank like place to work with, okay? Technical terms, they're a bit rubbish for me. Anyway, um so what I like to do is obviously for the for this one, right? I started off by putting in the fiber effect, which is you go to filter and then you go down to render and fibers. And then over here you'll get me screen, and this is the sort of look that I was going for. And you can vary it, you can sort of change how much, how many fibres you'll be getting. You know? But I didn't want too much. And you can also do the string, which sort of like thins the fibres a wee bit. But I kept that quite low as well. So I'll just hit OK. And there goes the fibre effect. So that's the sort of um, background of it all I was going for. And if you guys didn't know how to select the area, I used the marquee tool, tool up here, which is a wee dotted, uh, the wee square. Or you can hit M, and it's, uh, it's a shortcut for it. And just drag it over the full canvas, okay? And then that selects the area. So, anyway, click off that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the Star Me logo that I had. So, whatever image you want, it might um, work, it will obviously be different since you guys have different mascots and that. So, I'm just going to find my Star Me logo and we're just going to drag it in. There it is there. Oops. There it is there. So, just drag it in and there we go. So, that's that. And I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I'm just going to sort of put it here. And just Hit enter, so it goes in. And the effect that went for this, I believe it was overlay. So there we go, that's that that's the overlay. So um so what I did is just dropped it in and I went over to the right hand side here and uh, here just under the colours and just above your layers is um the sort of effect you want on it. And you've got this big list, so there's a lot of different things, so like there's this, which changes the colour completely. Um you know, it's got a lot of different things. That's actually quite nice. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go for overlay just to have um, the sort of fiber effect going through the actual image. And the next thing I did was to get the to get this box here, right? The big view box where I'm, you'll, you'll, you guys will be seeing my content through. I just got a rectangle, so just your normal rectangle. And make sure you fill it in. So just going to make it black, and cancel that. And just going to drag it out to however big you guys are wanting it. But make sure it's going to fit. If you know what I mean, like make sure it's big enough to view, and you've got enough room on the actual screen to put other stuff in. So I'm just going to move up a wee bit here, just so it's in this corner, right? Nicely and I just hit enter and what I do for my boxes, you guys don't need to do this, is I go into, I right click the rectangle layer, I go to blending options and then I go down to stroke and I add a, right, uh, add a white border around it as you can see here. Um, I preferably put it on the outside but you can obviously do it on the inside if you wanted, like that, or you can do it on center, like that. But I just prefer to go to go on the outside, it saves any hassle. And then obviously you can increase the size of the actual border so you can go all the way up here if you wanted. But 
Uh, I don't think that's nice. Um, so I just keep it quite low, just so it's a nice wee touch to it, around about 15. Um, if you guys want to as well, you can obviously uh, blend the, the border as well by going to here, blend mode, and you can also do stuff like overlay as well, which makes it fade into the background, but I, I personally just like to keep it solid most of the time. So just hit OK there. And what you want to do next is you want to merge all of this together. But first of all, I'm just going to duplicate this layer, right? And this is going to be for the face cam bit, okay? Face cam. So just going to do that. And obviously for the face cam, it's a smaller box. So just to keep it the same size roughly, you hold in shift and drag down from there. If you hit hold and shift as well from here, you can just see it just moves horizontally, okay? You get, if I try to go up and down it, it doesn't work. So, just going to uh, undo that there. So, you don't need a big box for it. You just need something small. So, maybe something like that. Maybe make it a wee bit bigger. So you can see my beautiful face. And enter. So, that's what that's just roughly what you're trying to aim for. So you've got your big um, box for the actual content, which is the battling and all that. And then you've got the con this here for the face cam. So first of all, just hit the wee I button here, and that takes away that box. And we want to merge this first sort of uh, pieces of work we've done together. So what to do that, you just go click on whichever one, make sure they're all uh, on screen. You right click, and then you hit merge visible and now if you see i just hit this it all goes away so that's quite handy yeah so now we want to get rid of this black bit here so if we go to the marquee tool hit m and then if we zoom or we, we need to sort of drag it out like that okay if you guys want to do it um, more accurately you can hit the z button for the zoom click in to the top corner and then mark E tool and just do that. Make sure it's just only just touching the white. And to here. And then if we zoom out, fit, to the, fit on screen, you'll see that it's literally just around that. So if we go to the mark E tool again and just hit delete, and there the black will just go away. So we'll just click off of that. And then you want to um, get the face cam up and then we want to do merge visible again just so it's all together like that and we just want to do the same as we did before zoom in here mark e tool oh weave it off oh, weave it off again <laughs> there we go and just around just around the black bit and delete and fit on screen and there we go so that's how i do that layout guys and obviously you can just add in some text like star well obviously make it so you can actually see it white and starlight onslaught Ooh, if i can spell it And just make that a bit smaller. Probably an onslaught. Maybe just so it doesn't go over the star me bit. And then obviously you want to add in, if you're doing live streams like I was, you want to add in your IGN, which for me was red. And then just you want to put in your friend code, which is going to be one two three four and obviously you just want to move this along just so like you can do and um, just resize this just so it's not too big just like that enter and you can just do go over here and duplicate layer and then you can just hold and shift and drag it along so it stays in line and then we can duplicate layer again Drag it, hold and shift again, dragging it, 
and then you've got that, and then you just sort of press T, go back to six, and you can change it to one, two, three, four, if you want to, like, whatever your friend code is. And then obviously you can move it out however you want it. And like you guys saw here, it sort of blends into the background here. Um, what I did again was just for the whatever bit you want. So we'll just take my IGN, which is red, and just go to overlay. And then there it goes there. What I did in the actual layout, I went to blending options. I gave it a stroke. Obviously, because the writing's smaller, you want to give it a smaller stroke. So say about five. I made it black. And in this case, I actually went from blend mode and I went to overlay just so it gets that nice outline. So guys, that's how you make that um, layout. So I'm just going to scratch that now and I'm going to show you... Oh, obviously you can save it, but just scratch that now. Um, so now what I'm going to show you to do how, what I did for this one is... Obviously, file new. Okay. And then this was a gradient. So it was a mixture of two blues. So say this blue here, and then it was a lighter blue. And then you go to the, this bit here for you guys, and so it might be a paint tool, paint bucket tool. So how, to ch how you change it is you go to the bit, whatever the icon is, and then you click and hold down, and then it'll pop out. Um, these two options, and then you just go to gradient tool, and then you click and drag like so, and then you get that. So it'll be the two colours that are up here. Um, I made the mistake and say, well, I forgot to change the orange to blue. So okay there, and then change the orange to blue, and then drag. There we go. So that's what I had. And then, I don't know if you guys can see it in this one, but I did have a sort of wave effect, like over here, in the top right hand corner you can see that um, it goes light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue, so on and so forth. Um, it's quite easy to get that effect if you guys want it, all you need to do is go to filter, and then you go to pixelate, no, not pixelate. Sorry, um, distort, there we go, distort, wave, and then you can just do it from here, you can just change it like that, as you can see the waves are forming in this wee box here, and um, you can change the wave length, so it goes a bit like that, but I don't, I don't like too much, I just, I just wanted to blend nicely, so just hit, hit, hit OK, and there we go, because you can see it's all changed now, and then well, what I did next was the my logo for Kilbride Kingers. So I'm just going to go to my Photoshop bit, where it should be. There it is there. Just dragged it in and dropped it on top. And obviously I made it a, a lot bigger. Right, like so. And if you're, um, well, you just hit enter, obviously, and then it goes onto the screen. And then I rotated it. So if your box goes out of screen, you just want to hit zoom, well, hit enter here, zoom, then zoom out a bit more, and then go back to your arrows, and there we go, you can see the box now. And then all I did was rotated it, like so, hit enter again, so it saved that, and then I just moved it up into the corner, and I hit overlay again. Okay, now let's see if I can change that a wee bit. So if I just do normal, if I bring this below here and I put that to overlay, oh, control Z, yeah, so you can obviously do stuff like that. You can obviously scroll down it and just to get whatever you want, however you want to put it. Like, it's there's a lot of um, nice options here. I don't like that one though. But anyway, I went. We'll just keep it um, simple, shall we? So, normal, just bring this back up here. 
and overlay. And there we go. So it goes into the background here, just as, just as we want it. And then, so we've got this sort of effect here. Um, so now what we want to do is get this the view box in. So go here, just say it again, get the rectangle tool, tool, drag it out. And obviously here it's blue, so I'll just make it so you guys can see it. And then we want to put a wee border on it. So blending options, stroke, make it white. Make sure it's not the blend mode isn't overly so you can see it. And then make it 15 so it's got a nice a nice size to it. And then just move it up to the top right corner here. Make it a wee bit bigger. Hit enter. And then we want to go over to the right here and merge visible again. And then we just go to the marquee tool. You can zoom in just so we get it a bit more accurate and marquee tool and drag it out along the way lane and then just delete and there we go that's the view box in and now for here um for this bit here it's just very very simple again it's just rectangles so i've got the rectangle here and i went up to here so up at the top just below layer you'll see fill and you want to go for this white rectangle with a, a red dash to it so it's no colour and you just want to drag it out here so you won't really see anything to begin with what you want to do is go right click on it blend in options and then again add stroke so that way you just see the back there's nothing in the middle and it's just the stroke you get and then I added another rectangle in and it was just a, a blue one so what I do is something like this and make sure you fill it okay and then just make sure it's nice so just want to get rid of this marking bit here right so you just want to sort of size it out scale it out to however, however big you want it that'll be nicer there right and then duplicate it so let's right click on the rectangle you want it should be highlighted over here in the layers bit. Duplicate layer, OK, and just shift and drag it along. OK. And there we go. So I might make these a bit smaller. We'll see in a minute. There we go, that's a bit smaller guys. Alright, so to get the effect for this bit, as you can see it's um, it's like a see-through dark blue. Um, I went on to it and I think it was Vivid Light. So it was either Vivid Light, no, not Vivid Light, it might be Linear Burn for it. So yeah, Linear Burn, that's what I used for it, okay? Just do the same to the other one, Linear Burn. And that's got that nice see-through effect. And then um, we just added in the text. So T to get the text icon up. And just put in zero. And obviously you want to make it white so you can see it. And if it's going below the layers, guys, you just come over to this side here and drag it up. So it's on top. Maybe, if that works. Ah, that's why, so it's not, it's not changed colour, so make it white, there we go, and then move it, and you can just, if you click the arrows up here, up in the top left, you can just get the box around it, and then you can resize it to the actual box it's going in, okay, so just make sure it's in the middle, you can also use the arrow keys just so you can move it up and down, just like delicately. So, oh, control Z there. So that's that there. Apply. Now what we want to do is duplicate that again. Duplicate layer. And then we just want to drag it out. 
so it's here. Just make sure it's in the middle there. And now what I did after this was um, I'm just going to change this this um, font just because for some reason this font does not have um, characters like the hyphen that I put in. So, oops. So just want to put the hyphen in and just make it a bit bigger so you guys can see it and then just pop it in here in the middle. And yeah, so that's how I did that wee bit and then obviously up here, up just above it, I just put in um, week one, okay? Um, you guys can change it back to the font if, to whatever font you're using or if it's got hyphens you can just keep it the same and that's how I made that layout. When you're looking to save it just make sure you go to file, uh, export, uh, export as, here it is loading up and make sure you just um, copy all these sort of details that you need and make sure for the layout that it's in PNG not JPEG, GIF or SVG it has to be PNG because PNG leaves that transparency for you guys to look to view the video okay also guys if you want to um, learn how to put this and in, these images into OBS um, all you need to do is open up OBS right here as you can see it's on screen and you just want to go into say we'll just take the source here okay you want to right click add and then add image okay hit okay here and then browse for whatever ever image you want now there's the layout there for you, just double click it and hit OK and there you go, it's went over the actual um, screen as you can see, okay? But yeah, if you want to remove it, just hit remove, okay? Well guys, that's it for today, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, remember to hit that like button and if you want to see more, remember to subscribe to the channel, I'm always going to be making some sort of content, whether it be um, Pokemon videos or I uh, might even do some more Photoshop videos in the near future. Anyway guys, until next time, I'll catch you later.